So would you believe me if I told you that I'm shooting with a Samark Hybrid Pro filter with this shot? Now would you also believe I'm using the crappiest lens that I own? Let me explain. So the location I'm at right now is perfect for this video today because we're testing the all new Sandmark Hybrid Pro Filter. And the reason why it's great is because it's so sunny outside, I'm backlit, but yet I'm still getting this exposed shot with a very crappy lens. What do I mean by that? Here's what I mean. One of the cheapest and crappiest lenses that we normally all start off with online creating or Instagram creating is a kit lens like you see here, an 18-55 Canon EF kit lens. It's a 4.0, which means it's a slow lens. It doesn't give off much aperture when it comes to trying to get that depth of field or that nice bokeh look like you're kind of like you're seeing here. That's not happening with a lens like this for the most part. So what I really wanted to do is put these guys to the true test and try to see if they can create amazing content and support our video and photo quality using a kit lens, the crappiest lens that we can use. And the results were quite interesting. Now first, I want you to take into account how this shot doesn't look the best. It's not that nice, not very well exposed, but I am using an expensive lens and a more expensive setup as compared to a Canon M50 and a kit lens. So why does this shot look a little bit better than the previous shot on a crappier setup with a cheap lens? Yeah, you probably guessed it. It's because it has a Samark Hybrid Pro Filter. I get it. Now we're back on using a very cheap kit lens, the 18 to 55 millimeter Canon kit lens that comes on like any Canon camera now, with the new Samark Hybrid Pro Filters, of course. I'm well exposed for the most part because I'm not blowing out, plus you can still see blue behind me within the background and some green in the trees that you see up here. Now here I am in the exact same shot with a different, more expensive setup. I'm using a Sigma 24 millimeter 1.4 art lens, which is at least three times more expensive than the kit lens, but I'm using that with the Sony a7 II, which is not that crazy of a camera, and you can see the difference, right? This $1,000 art lens does not have an ND filter or a polarizer, so that means I'm solely trusting the power of the lens and the camera, which in this shot, still really isn't enough. You don't get much of the colors that you did by using the hybrid pro filter with a crappy lens. One of the things that impressed me the most about the hybrid pro filters is the fact that you have a polarizer in an ND filter. So with the single twist of the rim, I was able to completely balance the light that was reflecting off of water and get a better shot like this versus a shot not using the polarizer like this. So they call it a hybrid pro filter because it essentially is two filters in one. It's an ND filter used to reduce or modify the intensity of light that goes into your camera sensor, which is super helpful if you're shooting on sunny days just like this one. For instance, let's say you're shooting in 24 or 30p and you're using the 180 degree shutter rule, you'll be using a 150th or 160th of a second shutter, which does pretty much kill the color science around you on that shot. Using an ND filter super and dramatically supports that exposure. Now a polarizer allows you to balance the light that comes into your camera, which dramatically helps you out when you're shooting water for instance or even the reflection of glass sometimes. You can see using the polarizer how well I'm able to balance the light that is being reflected off of the glass or the water, which is super dope worthy. And another amazing benefit that Sandmark did combining an ND filter and a polarizer was the fact that I was able to get very vibrant shots. Even taking images of the sky, I was able to get a true blue tone, even sometimes a more vibrant, darker tone that definitely makes the shot more captivating, which is super helpful for Instagram content, especially for Instagram content. And so putting these bad boys to the test, I went out on the town to shoot some Instagram bangers and see if these things really help supporting that IG content. So this shot right here, I was literally in direct sunlight and the exposure was crazy off, just super, super bright. So I slapped on the ND32 and slightly adjust the polarizer and I was able to get a lens flare that essentially came out of nowhere because it was not initially seen on my LCD while I was trying to focus John in that frame. And the results of that shot, Instagram binger worthy for sure. Now 
Now here in Austin, Texas, we have what's called Town Lake or Lady Bird Lake, whatever you want to call it if you're local. One of the reasons why I always hated shooting there during the hours of like 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. was because it's just overly exposed like all the time and as you may know water is a good reflector of light sometimes it's actually quite handy but other times it sucks so not only using the nd32 hybrid pro filter but also polarizing it i was actually able to get good shots finally i never brought a polarizer to town lake for whatever reason i don't know i just hate screwing them off and on all the time so shooting this shot was super helpful and i was able to get a very clear understanding of the sky and the water which is some of the hardest types of shots you can get especially in photography i'm not a crazy photographer but i do get them instagram bangers up in regards to the hybrid pro filters themselves they are made of aluminum super sturdy quality and twisting of the rim is like butter you hear how smooth this is just mm -hmm. these guys here there's only three of them nd16 nd32 and nd64 and obviously the higher you get with those ND numbers, the less exposure you get, which means if you're in a highly, highly exposed shot, like this one here, I'm using ND64, you can tell the difference of me using an ND16. Another key benefit to Samworks Hybrid Pro Filter is the fact that it combines two things into one. Normally what you would have to do is spend some money on ND filters and spend some money on polarizers. And one of the annoying parts for me with that process has always been I have to unscrew my ND filter to put on the polarizer and vice versa, and it's just, it's not a good look and it wastes a lot of time. One of the things I love about Samark so much and why I love working with them is because they give you major quality comparable to all the other competitors out there at an affordable price. Now, are there any downsides to these hybrid pro filters? Uh, I mean, for the quality itself, I really didn't find any and I've spent over a month just playing with these and taking them out to shoots. Though I will say the sizes that Samark currently has for the hybrid pro filters are not great. There are only like three or four of them right now, and some of the most popular ones, like a 72 millimeter, which is used for a lot of G Master lenses or any 16 to 35 millimeter lenses, that's not available at a 72 millimeter rim, which sucks. Now, taking away the pro lenses, you don't even have the option for a 49 millimeter size with a Canon M50 kit lens, the 15 to 45 3.5. That's also a bummer because you can't go any smaller than this here 58 millimeter size. The reason why that's a bummer is because the Canon M50 is such a popular camera with some pro features at a consumer price that a lot of us, including myself, have it and I rave about it all the time. It's the hashtag vertified camera of choice, by the way. Yeah, that's really the only negative thing I have to say. Not necessarily about the hybrid pro filter itself. I actually found nothing bad about them. More so the fact that you only have a certain amount of ranges of selectability from the sizes, which suck. If you want to check out the hybrid pro filters for yourself, the link is in the description below. Go ahead and check that out. And if you want to buy one, use code Benjamin Brandon for 10% off your entire purchase on any Sandmark product, by the way. So if you want to grab some of these, they also have pro filters for your drones. They got mobile lenses, cases, just just go wild with it. Get 10% off using code Benjamin Brandon, and you're welcome. But after everything you learned today, the question remains, should you buy the Sandmark Hybrid Pro Filters? From an Instagram creator and a video producer himself, I would say, honestly, that's a question you have to answer for yourselves. Hopefully this video helped you out. You're able to see what you can do with them, but whether or not they're worth the money, I will say, They're, they're worth the money. Like, just buy them. Just buy them now. Just link in the description. Like, you, Benjamin Brandon, 10% off. Just. I'll see you on the next one.